Hello everyone! Today I'll make a green salad with chicken and salmon steak for my dinner. Also, I will show you a lot of interesting useful food hacks and kitchen tricks that you can easily repeat. Let's get cooking! I prefer fresh herbs for a salad. But since you can't always use all the greens at once, and storing them in a package is bad, I do this. Just put a dry paper towel on the bottom of a bowl. Put greens on top, cover and store in the fridge. Then add tomatoes to the salad. I also add onions to the salad. To cut it quickly, I stick a fork in it and cut it with a regular vegetable peeler. Also, I always add nuts to salads. In this case, it's walnuts. To quickly peel walnuts, I begin by washing them and putting them into boiling water for 3 minutes. After draining them in a colander, the nuts will be much easier to peel. Well, what is a salad without avocado? If your avocado is as hard as mine, there is a great way to make it soft in just 20 minutes. To do this, wrap it in foil and place it in an oven preheated to 100 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Do not worry, the avocado will not be cooked, but it will become softer and tastier. Then place the halved avocado on the rack and gently press it through the grates. The peel will remain on the rack and smooth avocado cubes will be in the bowl. Finally, I add the cubes to my salad. I also use fried chicken slices for salad. For this, I always keep chicken fillets in the freezer. With an ordinary vegetable peeler, Slicing them into thin pieces takes just minutes. The thin slices are cooked almost instantly and make a delicious addition to any salad. Now it's time to make the salad dressing. I take a leftover jar of mayonnaise and add oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, herbs to Provence and garlic to it. Here's a pro tip. You don't have to peel the garlic to squeeze it. Simply use a garlic press and the skin remain in the press. So, no mess. I screw the lid and shake the jar well, combining the remains of the mayonnaise and creating a delicious sauce. That's it, my dinner is ready. But there is still one more problem. The fish steak has an inedible skin. To remove it easily, just insert a fork to one side and gradually roll it on the fork. In no time, your steak will be ready to enjoy. And if you enjoy this video, Please smash that like button, it really helps! Also, today I have prepared for you life hacks with eggs. I know this is one of your favorite sections. Did you know that you don't need to be gentle while breaking an egg? Here's an easy trick. Just throw it into a bowl and pull the shell out. The yolk remains intact and there won't be any shell pieces left in the bowl. Let me show you. I can do it 10 times in a row and the result is always the same. And to easily separate the yolk from the white, you can use a cooling rack. Simply pour the egg onto the rack and watch as the yolk stays on top, while the white flows down. This method is perfect for when you need to separate multiple eggs at once. You can make a great sauce for pasta or rice from the yolks. To do this, you need to take a container, add soy sauce and Japanese rice wine, which is also known as mirin. Put the yolk there and leave them in the fridge for 6 hours. Look, this is how they turned out, quite hard and glossy. Now you can add these yolks to rice or to pasta and just stir it up. This is an extraordinary sauce. I highly recommend it. From the remaining yolks, I will make egg yolk batarga. I mix together 2 parts salt and 1 part sugar and spread half of the mixture in a container. Then I make 6 indentations in the salt, add an egg yolk to each and cover with the rest of the mixture. Seal the container and put it in the fridge for 4 days. The next step is to carefully take out the yolks and rinse them in water. The last stage is drying. This can be done in the oven at the lowest setting, with the oven door slightly ajar. It should be done for about 4 hours. You can use these yolks for pastas, salads, soups, toasts or everything else according to your preference. They taste a bit like parmesan. As for the whites, 
I will make chocolate swirled meringue cookies. I'm using a mixer to beat the egg whites with sugar and vinegar until it forms stiff peaks. I put portions of cookies on a baking sheet and add chocolate with nuts. Cook these cookies at a low temperature for 4 hours. If you need boiled eggs, I've got a super trick to make peeling them a change. Just put the boiled egg in a glass and add a little water. Give the glass a good shake and the shell will come off very easily. By the way, I saw an incredible trick in TikTok with cutting eggs. I will try to reproduce it. Put an egg on its bottom on a cutting board. Put a knife on it and pull towards yourself. See how easy it is. The white is cut and the yolk remains intact. This can be repeated over and over again and the result is incredible every time. The helps of the egg whites can be deep fried. It will be very tasty. Now just add this dip to the whites and the wonderful snack is ready. Enjoy the taste!